The Dream of the Rood, The Cross Speaks. I remember that morning so long ago when I was cut from the edge of the forest, ripped up by my roots. Strong enemies seized me. They made me a spectacle, commanded me to raise up their criminals. Men carried me on their shoulders and set me on a hill. Many enemies fastened me there. I saw the Lord of mankind hasten with great courage to climb up on me. I dared not bow or break against the word of the Lord, but I saw the surface of the earth tremble. I could have felled all my foes, but I stood firm. The young hero, God Almighty, stripped himself then. Strong and resolute, he climbed on the high gallows, brave in the sight of many to redeem mankind. I trembled when the warrior embraced me, yet I dared not fall. I dared not fall to the corners of the earth, but had to keep standing. I was made to be a cross. I raised up the powerful king, the Lord of heaven. I dared not bend. They pierced me with dark nails. Dire wounds are still visible. Gaping gashes of malice, I dare not injure them. Men mocked both of us together. I was drenched with blood that streamed from the man's side after he set his spirit free. On that hill, I experienced many cruelties. But then I saw the God of hosts violently stretched out. Darkness covered his corpse. Clouds blotted that gleaming light. Shadows crept forth, dark under the clouds. All creation wept, lamenting the king's fall. Christ was on the cross. Then eager ones came from afar to the noble one. I beheld all that, too. I was drenched with sorrow, yet humbly I bowed to the hands of these men, Willingly, with great eagerness. They took Almighty God. They lifted him from that awful torment. They left me then, stained with blood, wounded by the sharp shafts. They laid him down, limb weary, and stood at the head of his body. They beheld the Lord of heaven, and he rested there a while, weary after the great battle. They began to fashion a tomb for him, warriors yet in the sight of the slayers. They carved the tomb from gleaming stone. They set the Lord of victories there. They began to sing the sorrow songs, wretched in the evening time. And then they traveled again, weary, far from the glorious Lord. He rested in the grave alone. Weeping, I stood there a good while in my fixed position.